Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. With this video going out just before Christmas of 2023, I thought we'd read a Christmas story. And I thought we'd read this one. This is Rudy's Windy Christmas by Helen Bow and Ben Mantle. Quite an interesting quick read, isn't it? I know it's a kid's book. And what I've done, because we're a science channel, a question-based channel, what I've done is I've not just read it, at a number of places, what we'll do is we'll actually take a pause and we'll look at some of the signs behind the statements that are made. So if you've got your Christmas hat handy, I've got mine on here. Pop it on. I've got my Christmas t-shirt. Let's jump head in and read the story. Are we all sitting comfortably? It's time to begin. So Rudy's Windy Christmas by Helen Barr and Ben Mantle. And it's a it's a naughty noisy, rip-roaring adventure. So what have we got? We've got red pages. Rudy's Windy Christmas. And we've got all our information. Well, it keeps telling us it's Rudy's Windy Christmas. I love this picture. We've got a Christmas tree there. We've got Santa's home, I'm guessing. We've got a Rudolph coming in. So page number one. One Christmas Eve at Santa's house, amid the ice and snow, the clauses shared a festive feast before he had to go. So here we've got the gnomes there. So should I say the elves, not the gnomes. Fetching in Christmas pudding. We've got Mrs. Claus. And then we've got Santa here. And what's he doing? He's feeding, is that sprouts? He's feeding sprouts to one of the reindeer. Mrs. Claus, who loved her sprouts, ate each and every one. But Santa fed his to a friend until the last was gone. <laughs> I think this might be dangerous. So why do sprouts tend to give us bad smelling wind? I absolutely love sprouts. But when I eat them, it does. It really reacts inside me and it produces really foul smelling wind. Now, sprouts, as well as other leafy greens, things like cabbages, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, they're all super high in fibre. And many of these, they also contain sulphur. And it's this high sulphur level that can lead to the smelly wind. Back to the story. So coming back to the story. Bye bye, dear, said Santa, lifting one more sack of toys. It's time for me to go and visit all the girls and boys. So there's Santa there with his sack. And now here he is. He's in his sleigh. And we've got the reindeers putting him along. Then Santa and his reindeer friends flew up into the sky. The sleigh secure behind them and the presents piled high. Do you know, I've always wondered why the presents don't fall off when he piles them that high. Because if I pile something that high, they end up all over the floor. they just got to Australia when Dasher took a sniff. What was that funny smell that had a sprouty sort of whiff? So why do we fart? Well, guess what? We eat food. As it passes through our digestive system, we process the food and we absorb sugar from it. Now, some of these foods, they're not easy for us to digest. The bacteria in our gut what they do is they're able to ferment this undigested food. As the bacteria ferments, it, the process it uses releases a lot of gas. And it's this gas that gives our farts their smell and actually produce a lot of the farts. The gas we expel, it's mostly coming from this fermentation process, but there's also a little bit of air that we swallow when we eat or drink. And that all combines together to produce the gas that we expel. Back to the story. So there's a reindeer on the roof. Let's move on forward. Oh, pardon me, said Rudy, but I think I've done a pump. My tummy did a rumble, then my bottom did a trump. <laughs> That's a lot of different ways to talk about the same thing, isn't it? The scientific term is flatulence, but it may also be referred to as a fart, pump, trump, toot, and loads and loads of other terms. We'll return to the story. So here we are, we've got a couple of Rudolphs, and there's poor Rudy. Oh, and you can see the gas coming along out, out there. Move on over, let's get this so we can actually see what's being said. 
The other reindeer giggled, then they flew into the sky. The sleigh secure behind them, and the presents piled high. So there we go again, leaving Australia. Um, shows only a few houses, I tell you. In Australia, a lot more houses than that in the lived-in areas. The air was sweet for many miles. Then Dancer took a sniff. Somewhere over China, he had smelt that sprouty sniff. Oh, dearie me, said Rudy. Now I've done a windy pop. This is embarrassing. I'll do my best to stop. The reindeer giggled more, and then they flew into the sky. The sleigh secure behind them, and the presents piled high. So Santa there sneaking into a bedroom, delivering some toys. Reindeer's there outside the window, and again you can see a little bit of that gas coming there from poor Rudy. For a while the air was sweet, then Prancer took a sniff. This time it was in India, he'd smelt that sprouty whiff. So again we've got the reindeer there pulling along with the sleigh. I'm sorry, boys, said Rudy, but I've done a botty burp. Why did I eat so many sprouts? I feel a right twerp. The reindeer chuckled hard, and then they flew into the sky. The sleigh secure behind them, and the presents piled high. The air was sweet for quite some time, then Vitson took a sniff. Just as they reached South Africa, he'd smelt that sprouty whiff. Again, Santa there delivering some presents over in South Africa. Oh, excuse me, said Rudy. What a smelly, stinky fluff. I really wish this wind would go. I think I've parked enough. Now, often people feel the need to hold their farts in. Although it's not thought to be dangerous, it can have some impacts. It can lead to things like bloating, pain, indigestion and heartburn. It can also increase the stress that a person is feeling. We'll jump back to the story. The reindeer laughed and laughed and then they flew into the sky. The sleigh secure behind them and the presents piled high. For a spell the air was sweet, then Comet took a sniff. On landing in the UK, he had smelt that sprouty whiff. So here he is in the UK, in the house there. Loads of tr trees in this house, isn't there? Oh goodness me, said Rudy. Now I've done a great big toot. That really was a ripper from my poor old bottom flute. The reindeer had hysterics. Then they flew into the sky. The sleigh secure behind them and the presents piled high. The air was sweet for hours and hours. Then Cupid took a sniff. Cos once more, in the USA, he'd smelt that sprouty whiff. Oh, Santa some little drink there. I hope there's something for the reindeers to eat. Forgive me, please, said Rudy, but I've blown my rear end trumpet. I can't believe there was enough wind left inside to pump it. These poor reindeer out there, I wonder how they're surviving with this all going on. Donna, Blitzen and the other reindeer rolled around, doubled up with laughter as they lay upon the ground. They've laughed so much they're out of puff, said Santa. They can't fly. However will we get this heavy sleigh home through the sky? Some super turbo gas is what we need now, Rudy boomed. He stuck his windy bottom in the air and off they zoomed. Wow, look at all that gas coming out. And he's got all the reindeer there. They're on the sleigh as well. Let me get that there so you can actually see that. But when they reached the North Pole, Santa got a big surprise. All the elves had wrapped their scarves right up around their eyes. We've had a horrid time, one little elf told Santa Claus. Ever since you went, your wife has air pooped without pause. Ho, 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 said Santa. Sprouts are more thun than I knew. I think I'll eat mine up next year. 
so I can join in too. Do you eat your sprouts? I love sprouts. So if you wake on Christmas night and smell a certain stink, just look up to the sky and give old Santa Claus a wink. And that's the end. Rudy's Windy Christmas. I hope you've enjoyed today's story. This was meant to be a fun little video. I say I have thrown in some little bits of science as well, because I can't not do that. Did you like this? Please drop a comment down below. Let's kickstart the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button. Every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.